Today's Toy Talk review is on the Batman Returns Catwoman figure. Here's the carded version. You got the really nice card art up top. The package figure down below. On the back, we've got other figures in the line. The instructions on how to work your Catwoman. The Catwoman sort of logo-y type thing, I guess. And then some Batman Returns logos here and there. As always, we'll have links to pictures in the info section where you can head and see still pictures of both the carded version and the loose version. Um, speaking of which, the loose figure. So you got the launching taser claw thing, my jig guy. That shoots off. It clips to a wrist, which, I mean, we'll see better in the pictures. Don't even really worry about that now. Here's the rubbery whip piece. There we go. She's got that in her hand. She does that action feature thing there. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's not working. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, get that out of the way because that's going to make it tough to see her. Um, so that was her action feature. There she is from the front. As you can see that kind of action stance thing she's got going on. There she is from the back. So there we go. Now we'll take her over the couch and do the review. Meow. Hey everybody and welcome to another actionfeatures.net slash 1989batman.com video spotlight. Uh, this one was by request from, I, I, I think her name is actually Catwoman on the forums, on the, um, the Batman Online, Batman Movie Online uh, forums, where I post these reviews a lot, right. links to them. She asked, when are you guys going to do the Catwoman from Batman Returns? And I said, we'll do that one next, after we do the Batman we'll do it. Um, so, as you saw by the intro, we are doing the Batman Returns Catwoman. Mm -hmm. You saw a close-up of the uh, carded figure just a second ago. We've got the really nice card art up top, up top, blistered figure down here, other figures in the line. Great. There she is. Um, and Can I see it? there's the figure. You've got her. Oh, I'm, oh, that. There you go. There she is. I thought that was not it. All right, so here she is. Now, a little, I think I did, I did the Robin story before, but I got her at the same time as I got Robin. Back in 92. Deal. And I got, yeah, you bought two figures of Toys R Us and got a cool Batman poster. Right. Um, getting this figure was really awesome for me because I, I was like, wow, another another Bat villain. Because I had, like, the, the Toy Biz Joker and I had um, my superpowers still. So I really didn't need to get that Penguin so much as a kid because it's just a repainted Penguin. But this was great because it was a totally unique sculpt. Right. Um, as opposed to, you know, the Batmans were repainted, mm -hmm. reworked superpowers figures. The Robin was a new sculpt. Penguin was a total reuse. Joker was a reuse of, uh, of Superpowers Joker. But Catwoman was, like, new. This was my very first Catwoman figure, too, because Catwoman wasn't in Superpowers. So there was no Catwoman for me up to this point. I didn't have, like, a Mego one or something like that. It was, this is it. This is my first Catwoman. Uh, and it's a great sculpt from Michelle Pfeiffer. We'll get into that, but let's check, take a look at the accessories first. She comes with this, um... They, they say it's a taser gun... She's alluding to something in the movie, but it's really not a taser gun so much. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't really look like a taser. It's just more like a shooting claw, claw thing. It looks like it's got a couple of claws on the end, and it, it shoots out, yeah. and it's got a rope on it. And it's a kid's toy. Then. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. I, and I understand. It's cool that they called it a taser gun to kind of reference the movie. Are you all right, bud? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it's not really... A taser gun. It's just a shooting launching thing. And it's great for kids, right. like you said. And it clips on, it, her hands are kind of open, and it really couldn't hold this kind of weapon, so it has this clip thing that just kind of clips around her wrist, and then it just sits on her arm. Her other weapon is the more essential one, and that is the bull right. whip. It's made of this rubbery type material, kind of stretchy, rubbery type stuff, and it's one just solid rubbery piece, no real detail to it other than the fact that it's got a little ridge where the hand right. hold is supposed to be. And you just put it into either one of her open hands. They're sort of open like this, so that they can hold the whip in either hand. Now the whip, to, the hand to put it in though, is really her right arm because it's got this sort of whip action, right. where you lift her arm up and it whips down. Right. Um, now I'm not, I'm not a huge guy, a huge fan of action features, mm -hmm. except for the podcast and the website. Best action features ever. Hey, there you go. Uh, I'm not usually a huge fan of action features in figures. Yeah. 
but this one isn't so bad. It, it's kind of cool that it's, it, you know, it's her whipping action, and that's fine. And it doesn't really interfere with the figure too much. You still got full movement on this arm up and down. This one, it's got the feature, but you're not really not losing too much. Here. Yeah. It's not like it's it's got a click mechanism where it's already stuck or something can, like that. Can I? Yeah, yeah. So whenever I play with it and I kind of warm both hands up for when they're fighting, it, all you have to do is hold it up. Just hold it. It's not that much work. And we said this before that this is kind of like a perfect line for you because you really don't like it when figure gets oh. loose joints. And these only have five points, and they don't really get loose. Other than right. if you see a really beat up one, it's probably got loose joints. But these stay pretty tight. She's in this kind of stance. We'll get on now that we're onto the figure. She's in sort of a almost walking, kind of moving stance. Right. Yeah. And I, I think yeah, but he's oh, up. Oh, I thought it was a boy, not a girl. It's a what? I thought it was a boy, not a girl. Oh no, it's Catwoman. I did Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, she's in sort of this kind of walking, kind of stalking right. stance. And again, I'm usually not a huge fan of a, a posed figure like that. I like a sort of a vanilla just standing there pose. I think maybe you're the same way. Yes. Um, but this one isn't so bad, and I, I, I seem like I'm just giving this figure a pass, but it kind of works because it's Catwoman. And she's kind of like stalking and moving and stuff like that. So I kind of am okay with the stance. You not okay with the stance? No. No, I'm okay with it. Oh, okay. Um, she doesn't have peg holes, so that can right. make it difficult to have her standing up. Mm -hmm. I usually just put a little doll stand right. type thing on her to keep her there. The sculpt itself is very detailed. It's got the laces on the boots. Mm -hmm. It's got all the stitching on the body. It's got the corset. It's got the laces sculpted into the corset. Um, it's, a figure. it's a very detailed figure, especially for the time, 1992. Right. The only gripe I would have is that it doesn't have much in the way of paint apps. Um, the stitching on Catwoman's costume is white. And so it would have been nice to have white paint on those stitch lines. But again, this is 1992. It's a mass market figure. They weren't going to go that far into it. Right. And it's not that huge of a drawback that I would be like, oh, it's terrible because it doesn't have those lines. Um, the head sculpt, I think, could be a little bit better. For Kenner at the time, they were doing some great head sculpts. And this one is maybe one of the softer sculpts. It's just, it doesn't quite have the Michelle Pfeiffer look that I was hoping the figure would have. Especially in comparison like to the Keaton of a Batman's. Skin type? No, it's just uh, maybe the shape of the head or maybe the detailing on the head. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It's just not. It's not as strong as lightness as their Ke their Keaton Batman's were. Those are really strong lightnesses, and the J that Jack Nicholson Joker's a really strong lightness. This one just isn't as strong. Right. It's got some kind of odd eyelash things painted on. And you're right. It could be a little wider. The the skin could be a little bit wider. It's a little bit almost too peach color or pinkish mm -hmm. color. Um, but I'm still, looking at Calvin right now. Yeah, that so. poster. Yeah, it's it's definitely off from the poster. Right. Um, I think that the the paint job maybe making the sculpt suffer a little bit more than it should. If it was maybe paler and didn't have those like little lines on the eyes, um, we might have a stronger likeness here than what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. But e even then, I mean, this is a a, f a mass market figure from 1992 that was like four or five dollars. So you can't expect twenty dollar quality paint jobs and stuff yeah. like that back then. Overall, this is a fantastic, I think awesome yeah. figure. Uh, it's a great uh, figure to have. You know, there's not that many figures in this line that are must-must-haves. I like them all. But really, you need, like, a black suit Batman, a Jack Nicholson Joker, this Catwoman, the Robin. The animated series. Animated Penguin. series Penguin, because this one doesn't really match at all. Um, but she's one of the must-haves amongst right. both Dark Knight Collection and Batman Returns, obviously. Kudos, Kenner. Another great job. Maybe a few drawbacks, but still awesome figure. Again, you'll be able to go to the link section in the info. In the info section, you'll find a link to the, uh, the still pictures, and there they are. Any closing comments on the Catwoman figure? Uh, hear me roar. It's a weird closing comment. All right, uh, King, you got any closing comments on the Catwoman figure? You know? Okay, well, there yeah, you go. Same, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys next time. If you want to see a certain figure from the Kenner Batman line, or, or Dark Knight Collection, or yeah. Returns, you would like to see, or a vehicle, or whatever, let us know, and it. we're willing to do mm -hmm. it. Right? Right. All right, right. so we'll see. Oh, and we'll be returning to the Comic Week when reviews pretty soon, because oh, Blaze's no. out of school. Yeah. Oh, we, right. I yeah, know. you're out of school, so we'll be able to start picking up some comic reviews again soon. Right. Um... Maybe in a couple weeks we'll start back up. <laughs> you need to catch up. I got something. What do you got? Anyone go watch the show ever? Anyone gonna watch the show ever? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> I hope too. We have some subscribers. We have almost a thousand subscribers now. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye.